What is good, Greg Gang? We're here. We're about to do some bass fishing in a John boat. And today we're going to be doing the MTB slam. I've literally done that every time I've been here, haven't I? Yeah, you only finished it once. I think we have a pretty good chances today, though. Let me show you what we got. So, first things first, I got two of the things already on my rod, so I'll show you them first. One thing right here, it's like a little popper walker, but you know, just a little topwater bait. Shouldn't have no problem getting that done. Then over here, this is on my jig rod. We've got a little wobble head right here. I think it's like a 3 8 ounce or something, but it's just a little wobble head, basically like a little jig on the bottom. And then on the back, it's actually a rage menace which they also sent in the package so i just put them two together and there was that then we come into the fanny pack now i packed everything in the mtb box in my fanny pack that way i don't have anything else to use but the baits in here that way i don't get sidetracked and you know stop using my baits but i'm gonna dig in here to my other soft plastic like i said there's the rage minute that's what's on the wobble head and then the other soft plastic is this little big bite baits and their little swim baits in there but then the hard baits is what's gonna be semi hard we have another popper right there that one's a booyah shouldn't be too hard about the same difficulty as the other popper and then right here we have a square bill again shouldn't be too hard there's a lot of stumps and lay downs in here so we can just probably bump that off of them and get a few strikes and then the hard part now i've done told shelly about this we got to use a duck and i don't know how this is gonna work out but it's sort of like a frog duck i mean it's a pretty big duck too it's not a giant one like the savage one but it's still a pretty good sized duck there it is in my hand so it's not gigantic but it's still kind of intimidating just because it's a it's a duck i've never used a duck before but yeah guys i'm gonna start off with that right there that little popper already on my rod and then we may move on over to this frog sometime so stay tuned because it's about to get wild and hit the subscribe button if you're not already well that's good oh done got one that's insane i would say it's bad luck because it's my first cast but i cast like 14 times that i didn't tell you about so the bad thing was i was like oh man because i threw it up on the bank and i got a bunch of grass on it that's good guys we've already got one down over here on the mtb slam on this little popper now we've still got one more popper to do and a lot more baits so we're going to dump this guy back in there if i can figure out how to unhook a bass okay there we go he's a little guy but hey he counts now i'm actually going to try to use that big wobble head see if we can get something on it no he spit it got that one <laughs> i set the hook so hard for a dink that's this that's a real dink but that's okay i definitely set the hook on her though right there on that wobble head right on the top of the mouth that sucker ain't going too far but i guess now he's going back in the water so see you later buddy let's see what else we got here's the wobble head and the rage menace sort of got both those done at once and then i got this popper over here finished so maybe that other popper and guys if you want to get your own mystery tackle box go down i have a link in the description and i also have a promo code it's all caps gray gang and it'll get you like ten dollars off your first box it's pretty good discount so if you want to get yourself a mystery tackle box use my promo code use that link down in the description and we'll get you hooked up just like uh oh shelby's got him one shelby is hooked up and loaded now shelby just for the folks at home tell people just in case they get out here and do something like this how can they differentiate a largemouth bass from an american alligator well if it ain't trying to eat you i guess it wants to cut an alligator in your pond and i guess you live in florida so what you're saying is if you don't live in florida it's probably a largemouth something like that what if they live in florida just look out for the big teeth and do not lip it so this is this popper right here with that lip on it it's actually like a popper slash wake bait which is good it pops really good and it swims really good too i've actually caught fish reeling a popper underwater and i know that doesn't make any sense but you ask the fish okay they're the one that bit it mcdonald's me too there he is no he's got me in the bush He's got me in the tree. I got him. He's not a macho, but he's a cho, I guess. <laughs> right there on that popper. And now what we're going to go to is a square bill. And then all we have left, oh, we still got those swim baits. That's what we'll do right now then, those swim baits. I'm going to tie me on a weightless swim bait hook and try out these little swim baits right here, these little big bite baits. Can't be too bad. I mean, little shad imitators should be should get some no problem honestly when is the rebellion coming back am i a jedi am i obi obi two kenobi there it is on this swim bait it was so quick guys i'm gonna try it again <laughs> what's that do oh that's a good name yeah, is it oh this is a no way okay 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 oh, oh, it's a good one oh. it's a good one it's a good one it's a good one it's a good oh it's a tank it's a oh. 
Look at that one. That's a big fish. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, I goodness. saw the side of it and I was like, oh, oh god. Rogue bass. Rogue bass loose. Rogue toad. Rogue toad. He bit it right at the boat too, didn't he? Yeah, it was more hook set into your rod holder and it was his bass. Oh, that's okay. This is what you call Instagram. Go follow me at Kennel Craig 1. And go follow Shelby at Shelby underscore C underscore pain. Make it look real huge right here. Guys, it's all about the angle. Hold her out here. Stretch it out as far as you can. I'm going to show y'all one on one how to take a picture, okay? Farther. 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 Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It eat, it has eaten you, Shelby. Let's do something a little bit different. Hold it by its tail. Lip its tail. Catch her and release, guys. Catch them and then we release them into a frying pan. Just kidding. We just need to get one on that duck. We Here's what we got left, guys. We have that square bill and then we have the duck. If we could caught that one on the duck, I don't know if we can catch one of those smaller ones on the duck. It's going to take a pretty big one to eat one to eat the duck. I'm sure we can. We can get this done. We're going to finish the MTB challenge and the duck lure challenge. Same time, guys. Ba -ba -ba boom 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 He's not as big as... Oh my... Man, he's mad. He's not as big as Shelby's, but that's still pretty good fish. Oh my gosh. The duck slid off that way. It wasn't like full of water and, you know, made it harder for the... Easier for the fish to sling it. Yeah, he ate that thing good. He ate it good, dude. He's way down in there. The MTB slam is now complete with the duck challenge. That's a pretty good fish. It's probably solid two pounds right there. That's pretty good, guys. We're going to keep fishing that duck just because it's a duck. And you don't get to fish ducks every day. Lay this guy right back in there. Hopefully we'll get on another one. Maybe we'll get on his mom or his dad or his uncle or his aunt or his cousin. I don't care. Okay, guys, it's actually the next day from whenever I set those traps for the coon that was eating the chickens. By the way, we're going to name him Roger. Roger the raccoon. Well, it turns out we got hit last night. Whenever you look over here at the trap, the trap is set off. So, well, you know, it's set and everything. But there's nothing in there. There's no bait either. It ate all the marshmallows, got trapped in here again, and somehow escaped again. And here's the worst part, okay? He came back. He got another chicken, guys. There's feathers up here. You can see where he climbed this again. He pulled it down. You can even see where he crawled back down this side. But he definitely went in there, got a chicken out, and brought it out. But the good thing is, is I guess Patricia got away somehow? I mean, I still have 12 chickens, same thing as I did yesterday, but Patricia's outside the cage, and he's obviously done, and you know, he came up here again. And that's not good, guys. He came in here, got trapped again, or something. Something happened, and we still didn't catch him. We're gonna have to do a little bit more than a cage trap. Probably gonna have to set a dog proof up here, but I'm not sure. I've not checked the ones down at the other chicken coop, so let's go check those right now. Hopefully we got him, because this needs to stop. Well, nothing over there on the tire dog proof trap, but I did set one more over here next to the woods that he probably would have came from, and we don't have nothing in it either. It's right there in that trail. We don't have nothing in it either. This is bad, guys. But what I am going to do is, because honestly, I trust these dog proofs a whole lot more than I do a cage trap. I'm going to take this dog proof that's in the woods a little bit, and I'm going to put it up at my house. Because he obviously didn't come down here last night. He came to my house. But anyways, let's go up to the house, and I'm going to set this dog proof around the chicken coop, because that's most likely where he's going to be tonight. Okay, guys, well, I just noticed something else. In the chicken coop, originally, like yesterday, I put a turtle shell in there because I wanted to let them, you know, clean it out, get it all clean for me, eat all the meat off of it. But, thank you, Mr. Roger the Raccoon. He stole it! He stinking stole my turtle shell. I'd honestly rather him take a chicken. That was my turtle shell. All right, it's on now. He's going down. I'm gonna kill him. Because there's, like, no trees here to hook a dog proof to, I've hooked it to two pallets. Now, I'm just gonna say this. If a raccoon drags away two pallets... Hey, he can have them. But I got it baited up with some marshmallows again. They seem to like marshmallows from what they've done in the live trap. I mean, they've came two nights in a row, but they've somehow escaped two nights in a row. I don't know, guys. I just have a whole lot more confidence in catching the coon in a dog fruit. If he comes back tonight and I still don't catch him, I'll probably have to do a stakeout. Like, literally. I have to get up a sniper's nest and just wait on it. Thanks for watching, Gray Gang. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment, share, and smash that like button. Get your merch at kendallgrayone.com slash shop. And also keep swerping on that sycamore. Dang it.